So I'm back in the garage. Last video, I got the 240 painted. If you didn't see, that's the color. So I didn't um, rush and get the body kit and everything mounted on. As much as I want to see the car all together in one color, I also don't want to rush putting it all together just to take it back apart. So i um, focusing more or less on the interior right now. So I painted the floor with Herculiner. Um, bought it from AutoZone. Works really nice. Has like a nice textured feeling to it. Um, but I am going to run some wiring for the door speakers and RCA wires and stuff like that. Um, throw in my carpet and the Street Faction rear seat delete and the Street Faction door panels. So that's my uh, list for today. So stay tuned. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, take a quick run to AutoZone. I'm going to grab some speaker wire, another set of RCA wires for the door speakers. And then, um, yeah, when I get back, I'll start. So I'm back, got the RCA wires, some speaker wire, uh, electrical tape, and some zip ties. So first thing I'm gonna do is run some speaker wire from the doors to the trunk area, as well as the RCA wires. Tidy all that up, and then we can throw the carpet in. So now I'm just trying to decide if I want the wires to run down the side rail or have both of them run down the center to the back. I don't know. So as you can tell, I decided to run everything down the passenger tunnel. Um, I didn't want to go on the driver's side um, rail because I didn't want all these wires to be running over the pedals. And I didn't go down the passenger rail because I have the main power wire from the battery running there. So I didn't want any interference with that. So I just decided to go down this way. So I'm gonna go ahead now and zip tie all these up. So 
this is pretty much how I'm gonna run it. So now I'm going to just use felt tape and tape all the stuff that's gonna be under the carpet and then the stuff that you'll see, I'll use some loom. Alright, so 800 zip ties and a couple miles later of tape. That's all ran, so I'm gonna go grab the carpet and we'll throw that in. Carpets in. I'm gonna go grab the Street Faction rear seat delete and uh, we'll get that in, see how it looks. Installs pretty straightforward, a couple of bolts and brackets. And I think what I'm gonna do is go to the hardware store and get like a um, weather stripping, like foam that has double uh, tape on the one side and put it along the whole back side on the edge where it contacts with metal because it's probably gonna rattle pretty bad. So, other than that, I think the opening here on this model, I'm going to make a custom sub box and run a single 10 inch sub in the back, uh, just a clean setup. So that's the plan there. I also have these Street Faction heel plates that I was thinking of running, just to get an idea. Something like that. We'll see. I don't know how, if I'll like them or not, depending on the way your feet sit, it might feel funny. Too high for me, I don't know, we'll see. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the speakers in the door panels and we'll get those installed. So we got this Sony head unit and some Rockford Fosgate door speakers. So we're gonna go ahead and get these installed. So I went and bought wire to run from the doors all the way to the trunk. And of course it comes with wire that's plenty long to do that. I figured it would've came with a piece that was like six inches long, whatever. So here are the speakers, pretty decent looking. So I'm gonna go ahead Get those mounted onto the door panel and then we'll get the door panels installed. Looks like I have to make a hardware store run for the screws to mount this because the only screws that they give you are these which are way too long so i'm gonna go run and get those
that's it. I'm gonna end the video with that. I got everything installed. Wiring speakers, carpet, rear seat delete. Uh, next video, I'm going to install the cage and the quarter panel plastics there, cut the hole for the cage to go through. So, see you next time.